Hello and welcome back to Paul Outdoors. No, this isn't a uh, climb the highest peak or mountain that we can find today. This is a bonus for me because my work today was uh, completed uh, unexpectedly quickly. So I've taken the opportunity to uh, get out and go for a little walk close to my house with a little bit of woodland therapy thrown in as well for good measure. And also I'm going to use the opportunity to um, to respond to a uh, 10 question tag that has been uh, posed to me by Matt of MAFT UK, which are 10 questions basically about me in this case and my thoughts on uh, hiking and backpacking and uh, various things like that. So thank you Matt for that. Apologies for it taking so long uh, for me to respond, um, but here I am. So. Before I do that, just also want to um, thank Mike, uh, Black Country Woodsman, for generously sending me a Trangia burner. Bless you, Mike. That was really generous of you. Happened to mention in one of my comments on one of Mike's videos where he was uh, firing up his Trangia that I used to have one, lent it to somebody, and um, haven't seen it since. And at the kindness of his heart, he has. Um, he sent me a brand new burner, which is uh, very generous of him. Thank you, Mike. And I'm going to actually uh, fire that up when I'm in the woods. So uh, that's an added bonus for me. I'm also going to do a uh, number of shout outs to a few channels which I think are exceptional, as most channels are. There's so many good channels, but. Uh, going to give uh, three shout outs today and probably continue that theme moving forward. So first question of the 10 question tag was, who am I? <laughs> well, that is the perennial question that uh, most human beings at some point in their life uh, ask themselves, who am I? What am I? What am I doing here? But uh, I don't think that was the the way that this particular question was framed for this tag. So, who am I? Well, my YouTube uh, handle is Paul Outdoors. My first name is Paul, and I like the outdoors, so I've uh, spliced the two together. And hey, presto! Paul Outdoors is uh, is my YouTube alter, alter ego. I've always liked the great outdoors. Uh, from a young age, from as early as I can remember. Most of my time during school holidays was spent near Hereford by the River Wye, and I've had a passion for nature and the environment ever since I can remember. And that's got stronger with age, I'm now 52. Yeah, I know I don't look it. Thank you. Um, and that has never waned. Like I say, if anything, it's got, it's got even stronger and my desire to get out and uh, embrace it has, uh, has got stronger too. So thank you mum and dad for bringing me up and showing me that path because uh, I know a lot of people aren't fortunate in that respect and are products of their environment. And I live in Herefordshire, near Hereford and this is a wonderful place to live and grow up. So. Uh, you know, I've been dealt some good cars, but we still have to um, make use of them, don't we? So, uh, question number two. Which I've forgotten. I'm going to have to look at my piece of paper now. I'm not going to edit this out because this is, uh, this is real life. Question number two, Matt, is how long have I been hiking? Well, not long really. Hiking in the sense that, you know, I go off and walk for extended periods of time or long distances. I've done 10 mile walks, 12 mile walks, shorter walks. Really most of my outdoor activities up until recently have been just uh, little little jaunts out into the countryside, you know, literally outside the back door and then walking for 10-15 minutes on a minute. So a lot of my recent uh, Sort of involvement has been while camping and 
that kind of thing, as you can see from my channel and before. Um, but with regard to hiking in future, you may have noticed on some of the videos of late that uh, a good friend of mine, Nick, and I have branched out into uh, other areas beyond uh, Herefordshire and have taken in such places as Flantoni Priory, Hatterall Ridge, the Office Dyke Path, um, Hay Bluff, Tumper, Lord Hereford's Knob, and Penavan and Corn, Corn Dee, Penavan being the highest peak in uh, southern Britain. So uh, we have plans to do a lot more of that and to do some long distance uh, routes as well. So I'm getting fitter, I'm, uh, I'm exercising more, always have had a good level of fitness. But uh, as you get older and you, uh, you sort of do less, it's easy to to lose your endurance, your muscle tone and all those kind of things, but I'm getting that back now. So I've always had a good core level of, uh, of fitness and, uh, and that's getting better by the day. So uh, we're going to highlight a lot more hiking trips as the uh, months unfold. We've got lots of plans to do that, so that is... Uh, that's a massive, a massive thing to look forward to. Question number three. Do I backpack? Well, not really, not up, and, not up to now. It's from this point onwards really where the answer to that question is yes, but uh, up to this point, the honest answer is no. I've done the odd uh, backpacking trip, nothing really to write home about, but um, we have plans to, um, to backpack number of the national trails and uh, others that we're concocting so that's something to look forward to so that's question number three do I backpack no and yes from this point onwards <laughs> favorite trail food well I like trail mix when I'm on the move you know nuts dried fruit seeds that kind of thing quick energy boosters with the odd uh, jelly baby uh, sort of thrown in there for good measure. I also tend to take porridge oats with me. More often than not, you know, it's a neat, simple case of uh, boiling water then and just um, adding that to my porridge oat mix. And that gives you a, an instant boost and it um, keeps your energy levels fairly high um, throughout a walk or a backpacking trip. And when I'm wild camping, I do that as well. So. Uh, I did used to use uh, dehydrated meals, the, uh, the commercial variety, but I had a bad experience with one, and it probably was just a one-off where I was actually camping in the place that I'm going to now, and uh, had the meal, and then paid the paid the price to for two days, three days after that. I was quite ill, not me for six. That was probably just a one-off. I won't name the brand because that would be unfair because I think it may have been uh, just a one-off. So when we're, when we're wild camping though, um, we do take the frying pan with us and we do like our omelettes and scrambled egg and bacon and sausage just like most people. So we're taking food that we would probably eat at home into the uh, wild camping uh, adventures. But when walking and on the move, then it's things like trail mix, porridge, flapjacks, um, quick to prepare pastas, that, that kind of thing with uh, various sauces. So that's question number four. Question number five. Longest distance travelled. On foot, in one go. Probably no no further than 15 miles, if I'm honest. Um, sorry, I'm just watching a, what I thought was a rabbit, but it's actually a hare bounding the, down the path away from me. I've never never seen a hare up here before. Wonderful. Yeah, so um, longest distance travelled. That, well, that's going to change because, like I say, we've got uh, quite a lot of extensive backpacking trips planned so where in the past I've say traveled 
15 miles as a maximum in a day. Um, that might become the norm throughout the spring and summer and into the autumn and winter from here on in. So, uh, so my channel is going to show quite a lot more variety uh, in future as well. So, um, so thank you for all of you that uh, subscribe already. And thank you for your comments and your support. Really appreciate that. In all honesty, I do run the channel for my own sort of enjoyment and to have these videos sort of uh, made for posterity so I can look back when I'm too old to get out of the house, however long that may be. But I think I might have another 20 years or so in me if I can keep uh, fit. So uh, fingers crossed on that one. But thank you for your kindness with your subscriptions and uh, and your comments. We do we do get the the negative, the odd uh, thumbs down, but I'll, I'll put that down to people with big fingers and thumbs. Maybe instead of hitting like, they've, they've hit dislike uh, in error and have hastily moved on to the next video. Um, so, you know, you've got to take these things with a modicum of salt, haven't you? But thank you very much for subscribing and for um, for supporting I really really do appreciate it and um, if you haven't already subscribed then uh, please feel free to do so it would be muchly appreciated I'm just um, stood now on the outskirts of the wood I'm gonna go into I've got the Mulverns over to my left Westwood and Hoffwood in front of me which is the Mordeford area of Hereford and Woolhope and there's a partridge now just uh, flown into the left. It's all happening. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Okay, question number six. My most repeated hike. Sorry, I'm looking down here at a piece of paper because my memory is rubbish. My most repeated hike. Well, there aren't any really. Um, I have a number of favorite places that I go to in uh, in and around Hereford, which I've been visiting probably for about 40 years, but they're not really hikes, they're little short three or four mile walks from the car, little circular walks, places I go fishing, that kind of thing, and camping. So I don't class that as a hike, but that's going to change, as I said, because we've got quite a few plans. So if these questions were asked of me in 12 months' time, then the, the answers would be much different. But, you know, it's great that we've got things... Uh, things planned and um, you know I think we have to have those sort of things to look forward to in life I think my best years are still ahead of me so uh, that's that's a that's a great feeling okay question number seven hike to-do list I would say with regard to routes I want to complete the Rye Valley walk which is 170 miles plus I think I want to do that that's that's in Nick and uh, my plans. Offers Dyke, done little sections of it. Want to uh, want to complete that as well. So yeah, and also another national trail is the Ridgeway in Wiltshire. I love Wiltshire. It's a magical place to me with the uh, crop circle season, the uh, stone circles, all the ancient monuments. Mon I'm not done with these teeth. Ancient monuments. So uh, I want to spend some time in Wiltshire, walking the Ridgeway. Whether we do that in one go or split it, I don't know, but that's something we're talking about. Question number eight. Map, compass or GPS for navigation? Well, I am most definitely a map and compass bloke. Much prefer a map, map and compass for navigation, but um, I do need to look into GPS now that we've... Uh, Got quite a lot of plans afoot. Nick uses uh, View Ranger on his phone, which is very good, which uh, we tend to combine with a map and compass. So uh, that is um, that is in abeyance. So really, something on some my to, to do list and research list, trying to find the best bang for my buck with regard to GPS equipment. But an important piece of equipment, I would I acknowledge. Question number nine, who do I hike with? Well, uh, I'm going to be hiking with Nick, the lad you see, the guy 
you see leading from the front in my videos, our videos. Nick's, the back of Nick's head and his bobble hat is probably uh, legendary now on uh, YouTube. Well, not legendary because my videos often average about 200 views uh, a pop, which is which is great. But it's certainly not up in the thousands, so I can't really say it's legendary. But you never know. One day, Nick's red coat, back of his head, and his bobble hat may uh, may receive uh, legendary status. So. Nick and I have got a lot of plans, so Nick is my hiking buddy. So, uh, what's his space on that one? Hello, Nick. Nick does get a bit, uh, I don't think he's, I think he's warming to the idea now of being filmed from the back, because he's always out in front, because I'm usually dawdling behind, sort of filming things and getting sidetracked. So a one hour walk tends to turn into three. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Jumping over fences I shouldn't jump over and things like that to see what's on the other side. Question number 10, what three things do I look for when hiking? Well, a challenge, a physical challenge, you know, where when you get to the end of it, you, you really feel that you've been challenged and that you feel the benefit of it. Uh, and, Views are always good, you know, where you, you make the effort to get to a peak and then there it is, it's, it all opens and unfolds in front of you, you know, puts a different perspective on the landscape and life in general, I think. Makes you realise how uh, insignificant maybe that we are, although I don't think we are. We're all conduits, sort of little sparks sort of experiencing, but we're we're doing that individually, but that works as a collective as well. If that makes sense. It's a little bit esoteric. But that's how I feel. Um, yeah, so a challenge, views, and also as much as I like my own company, and I do like my own company, I do like to do these things with people that um, share the same passions, really, because, you know, you can bounce off each other and you know you might rub off on somebody else you know and sharing information and historical facts if you can call them facts that kind of thing so uh, yeah those three things really and no time constraints is also an important one for me I don't like to be getting out of a vehicle and thinking right we're in a rush to get from A to B C and D want to just let it unfold and um, you know that's that's the way I like to do it ideally so those are the three things that I look for I'm just going to go into the uh, woods now because that's all ten questions answered I think hopefully you can see me and hear me on here and uh, I'll catch up with you again when I'm all set up in the wood thank you We're a couple of minutes in now and uh, we've got, got a nice uh, load of bubbles forming. Burners are working really, really well. It's important when uh, particularly using titanium to um, be aware that these handles will get hot very quickly because titanium is a really, really efficient conductor of heat. And uh, you can feel that through these gloves actually, so be aware of that. That's not going to be uh, it's going to be far off a uh, off a boil now. But this um, Kelly Kettle Hobo um, pot stand is working really, really well. So uh, the only thing is it it's not compact so I can't pack it down fold it down so I'll, I'll still consider getting a 
Trangia triangle which uh, will fold flat and maybe a little bit lighter but um, you know this this works perfectly perfectly well so uh, I may stick with it it's not exactly uh, heavy so uh, if I've got it I may as well um, may as well use it but Mike that that Trangia burner mate is working really really well and uh, I've watched your videos where you featured it and um, I've listened to your tips and they work mate so thanks for that. That's nearly it's about four minutes in now and that's uh, that's not far. In fact that would be fine for coffee, that's that's really hot, but I'm gonna let it come to a come to a boil. And as Simon Rialabran said on my uh, video in the comment section when I reviewed this um, titanium pot about the loose lid, you're spot on Simon, can you hear that uh, pot lid rattling so we know we've got a boil. <laughs> so loose lid, no bad thing. And this tab does, does sit and, and stay upright quite nicely so that's a, that's a massive bonus. You can see the... Uh, steam coming through those vent holes so safe to say we have a rolling boil there about 300 millilitres of water, boiled in no time at all. And probably still enough fuel to boil another, uh, another uh, pot full. Okay, I've packed up and it's time to head home. So, uh, a few hours well spent. Very therapeutic. Certainly helps me to uh, sort of discharge any uh, unwanted energy from uh, normality, shall we say. I think nature is the antidote to that. So hopefully you found that tag interesting or the answers to those questions interesting. They were honest, not contrived. Thank you, Matt, for the, uh, the invite. I would like to tag three wonderful souls with three wonderful channels. Um, as a natural progression to being tagged myself. And the first person is uh, Phil. World uh, Field Channel is um, one I've subscribed to and have been for some time. It's a really, really interesting channel where Phil documents his uh, adventures in the north, I think the Peak District area, Derbyshire, around there. Please correct me, Phil, if I'm wrong, but that's, uh, that's my feeling in the main. It's a fantastic channel and well worth subscribing to. So, Phil, you've been tagged. Thank you for your support. Mark, Y Explorer. Hello Mark, how you doing mate? Uh, you're tagged also, so please go and uh, visit Mark's Y Explorer channel which uh, showcases the, um, the River Y, the Y Valley, the Y Catchment, its tributaries and uh, environs. Absolutely fabulous work of art that Mark, so thanks for that. Keep up the good work mate. You're tagged. And the third uh, person and channel I'm tagging is Mike of, uh, or Mike the Black Country Woodsman, not of, Mike the Black Country Woodsman. Hello Mike, how you doing mate? Thanks for the transure again, I'm going to keep saying it, I'm chuffed. <laughs> Mike, you've been tagged and I, I sort of urge anybody and everybody to go and have a look at Mike's channel as well. 
black country woodsman well worth a subscription and uh, watching Mike's videos Mike's very much into uh, stealth camping and he goes to places that uh, nobody else goes to and uh, it really is a enthralling watch and listen so uh, please go and support Mike as well so Phil, Mark and Mike you've all been tagged and the 10 questions will uh, will appear in the description below so uh, it's not compulsory that you respond but uh, it would be interesting if you did but we know people are, uh, are busy so um, I'll leave that with, uh, with the three of you and Matt thank you mate your channel is truly wonderful Math T UK it was interesting listening to your response to the 10 question tag from uh, uh, Woods Walker. That was really, really interesting. Interesting watch and listen, as, of, as are all your videos. So uh, everybody, if you're not already subscribed to Math T UK, please go and uh, have a look and do so. It'll be a fantastic uh, use of your time. And there are so many other channels, channels as well. Uh, so many more that you've uh, ever mentioned and I'll try and mention more in upcoming videos. So thank you very much, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.